Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the Mavic 3 with me today, and uh, this is a place that I've always wanted to fly a drone. I'm up on a scenic viewpoint uh, on Interstate 84, uh, just on top of Cabbage Hill, they call it. So truckers are gonna know that hill very, very well. I've been up and down a, a few times with a few times with a set of doubles, and trust me, it's an experience. However, with the Mavic 3 today, this is gonna be easy. We're gonna put this baby up and we are gonna look over uh, Pendleton and give you a view of Interstate 84 and, the, and Cabbage Hill like you've never seen. Like I said, I've always wanted to do this. Now, I know I've got this camera facing into the sun right now, but I wanted you to be able to see uh, the background back there. And uh, anyway, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, so I've got the drone fired up and uh, it's uh, telling us actually that this is a recommended zone. Uh, zero sats, so let's let it get a few satellites here. We'll see how long it takes. It's kind of an interesting area on top of a hill. Uh, so we'll see. Looks like we've got uh, six already, so it doesn't look like it's going to take too long. I noticed uh, when I flew the Air 2S, the, the DJI Air 2S, just a, a, a little while ago, you know, it took a while for it to uh, get satellites. Well, we've almost got them here. we got nine satellites. So, yeah, home point updated, 14 satellites. That couldn't have been a minute and a half, so we're good to go. We're going to shoot in 4K60. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, well, let's take a look at the safety menu. We are in bypass. We've got advanced return to home. I've got return to home altitude set really high. We don't need it that high. Let's go back down here to, I don't know, 66 meters is more than we need. So yeah, compass is normal, IMU is normal. I'm saying we're good to go. Let's start recording now and uh, let's do a manual takeoff here. We'll give it just a second. And here we go. I'm going to do an automated takeoff on the app. Okay, let's bring it around. And of course, uh, the drone is not going to come in close to us because uh, obstacle avoidance, it's not going to let us uh, go too far here. But, uh, but you can see where we're at. Again, I'm going to give you a little view of the uh, the Corvette sitting there uh, you're just seeing the top yeah there we go anyway so I'm right next to the Corvette and uh, yeah let's turn this baby around so you can kind of get a look at where we're gonna go so we're gonna do a droney off that direction so let me spin it back this way And uh, yeah, we'll do our usual little wiggle here so you can see the, and you, you can see the drone try and rise there. It, it doesn't, it's not gonna hit anything. It knows what's going on around it. So I'm gonna drop that gimbal down. We are in normal mode. Reverse and up now, reverse and up. And we're just gonna go straight out here and give you guys a look. Now is that something or what? Holy cow. You can see where we're located at and you're gonna see the freeway down there that we're just going across here and get a good look. You can see it's a kind of a partly cloudy day. It, you know, it's fairly warm. I've got a jacket on, but it's not too bad. Picking that gimbal up so you can get a good look. We're still in full reverse at about 12 meters per second. So we should be crossing the other side of the freeway here pretty quick because it goes up and it goes down, of course. And that was the downside that we were on there. So let's, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep it in full reverse here until we get across the other side. We're up about uh, 60 meters from our takeoff point. And there you go. Let's do a little rotation around here so you can kind of get a look. 
at uh, at the whole deal. And uh, isn't uh, isn't that uh, that freeway going up the mountain there something? And let me tell you, when you're going up that or down that in a truck, it is uh, it's an adventure. And of course, it's kind of one of those deals where they have uh, escape ramps, etc. And it happens. But let's look and see what's off in the distance over here. So uh, off in this direction is Pendleton, Oregon. I'm going to see if I can zoom in here. So we're going to we're in 60 frames per second. So we're only going to get two times zoom. But there you go. That's the bottom of the hill. I'm going to pick up the camera a little again. And what you see off there in the distance is a uh, is the Wild Horse Casino. Pretty big deal. And then as I pan to the left, uh, Pendleton, Oregon there off in the distance. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go back to one by and uh, try to do that on the uh, touch screen here. There we go, back to one by. And uh, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and take a flight out here. I'm gonna throw it in sport mode. Let's get a little speed up. And we can take a flight out here, kind of over uh, the overlook here, and give you guys a look at uh, at the scenery. And there's that other side of the freeway that I was telling you about, the one that goes up. In fact, let's kind of pan around so you can see that. You can see those trucks going really slow there. And trust me, there's another overlook right there. We may stop at that one on the way home. Uh, but uh, but yeah, lots of farmland down here. We will just cross directly over the top of that. And we're out there a ways here, so I'm not going to get too carried away. Let's pick that gimbal back up. Think, you know, springtime, things are starting to green up a little bit. And you know, look at this drone, you know, we're at 40 meters per second, so, or excuse me, 20 meters per second, so that's, uh, you know, roughly 45, 46 miles an hour, something like that. And you can see both directions of the freeway there, the one going up the hill and the one going down the hill. And you can see there's some pretty sharp curves, sharper curves on the one going up. Uh, and But trust me, if you're in your car, you better pay attention because there's some slow trucks going up the hill. And uh, it's, God, what a beautiful day today, you know, just a little bit cloudy. So there's the freeway there, the downhill side. And we are right up here, this direction. Yeah, like I said, I've always wanted to fly this. 80% battery, we're in good shape. No obstacle avoidance in sport mode. And I'll tell you, this is the reason that you uh, fly a drone like this with this kind of uh, power uh, so that you can get where you want to go. You can see us on top of the hill up there. There again, there's the uphill side of the uh, of the freeway. I'm going to bring the map up here just for the fun of it. There's the map. Well, that's not really showing us much, is it? Okay. Let's take another look around here. Pretty darn cool. And so we're on that hill. Let me let me point towards us there. You can see us right there on the viewpoint. I'll do kind of a sideways look around. We're on the tip of that viewpoint right there. This is kind of a nice shot, isn't it? We can kind of get centered in here and you can see the uh, the traffic coming down the hill. 
I'm going to put her back in normal mode. I was in sport mode there. I, uh, I always feel better if I have uh, obstacle avoidance on. That way, if there's something I miss, the drone won't. Okay, so I'm going to do another look down the hill here for you. Pretty cool. I don't know, you know, I'm looking at that uh, body of water down there, and I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what that is. Got no clue. I'm going to have to look on the map and find out. I'll look on the map and uh, I'll put it on screen here. So there again, you can see the, uh, the uphill side of, the, uh, of Interstate 84 there coming up the hill. God, it's so nice and green. Really fun looking at this stuff. So we're going to kind of turn back around here. Let's, uh, let's head on up the hill for a little ways. Let's just go up this ridge. What do you think? This is kind of a cool spot. And about uh, 15 meters per second in normal mode. So that's over 30 miles an hour. And, it, you know, as you can tell, the, the, uh, the higher you are up, even though we're only 37 meters above our takeoff point, uh, the, the, the sensation of speed definitely goes down. So maybe what we can do is we can go in and go up and come from behind us here. Yeah, you're looking at this, you know, I'm looking at these, uh, let's drop the camera down here. Definitely some four-wheeling going on in these areas, huh? Guys on their four-wheel drives must be up here messing around with something. Oh, we got kind of a little body of water right here. I wonder what this is. Let's just take a look. I wonder if, I'll bet you, if I'm a betting man, that is a man-made. Yeah, that's some something man-made. That's probably just runoff in there, I suppose. Uh, but it, maybe it was put there to collect runoff, uh, you know, for u water use for whatever. And, of course, there's some kind of foundation there, so who knows, maybe... What was there? I don't know. Things that you would never see if you didn't have a drone, right? You would never see that stuff with the drone. So now you can see the two parts of the freeway coming together, the uphill side and the downhill side of Interstate 84. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go on up the hill here. Let's cross back over. And let's go to the, uh, let's see if we can get to the top of the hill. So I'm full stick forward here. We'll get, get across this real quick grab some more altitude and this little road that you're looking at right here is the entrance uh, to the uh, to the viewpoint where we're at and there's there's the viewpoint right there see some folks here so let's uh, let's turn around here and let's see what's kind of on the uphill side here Got a nice big uh, cell phone tower here. So I don't know. I wonder if that is a uh, is, if that is a residence or uh, it looks to me like probably something to maybe service that tower. Let's uh, let's go up. You know me. You know how I like to uh, orbit uh, towers. So. Yeah, it looks like that's just a nice, uh, that's a, I'll bet you that's a powerful tower right there. Let's, uh, let's see if we can do an orbit here. I'm going to go into cine mode, and we are going to go uh, to the drone's right, and we're just going to do a loop around this thing. And that also gives you a look at the territory as well. Kind of, uh, you know, the other thing that I'll say about this Mavic 3 is just how well it flies. I'm telling you, it's just a joy to fly this thing. So this is giving you a look again at uh, Cabbage Hill and what that mountain actually looks like. 
I don't know, it looks like whoever's there has a bunch of cars and a bunch of other stuff, so I'm not sure what that is, but definitely uh, they probably get paid to have that cell phone tower on their property would be my bet. So there we are again. So what we'll do when we get to the other side of this guy, uh, maybe, we'll, uh, maybe we'll explore on up the hill. Here a little more. You can see that see there's a little bit of snow on that ridge there still. So in fact, this freeway was closed, gosh, not a week ago or maybe even less than that due to snow. So they definitely get weather up here, that's for sure. Okay, there's that loop. I'm going uh, back into uh, sport mode and let's kind of go across here. Let's move this direction and see what we can see. And the drone is hauling the mail, you know, 20 meters per second. You can get some speed up pretty quick. Let's look at this draw down here. Maybe we can take a look at that and see what we can see down there. And we're still at 55% battery, so we got plenty of battery. Again, this is a spot that I have always wanted to uh, fly a drone at. I, uh, yeah, so they're saying I'm ex Oh yeah, look at that, I am. I'm above 120 meters. So we're going to drop it down. Yep, that was inadvertent. I have to check my settings. I didn't, oh, I, oh, I had it set that high when I was flying in the mountains the other day. So anyway, we're done with that. Let's go back into normal mode. Gives us obstacle avoidance again. And we are right at 120 meters, so that is max legal from takeoff. Of course, we are no doubt closer to the ground than that because because uh, we did go up the hill. But wow, look at this draw down here. This is kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's a pretty steep little uh, drop right there. I bet you there's some uh, mountain goats and occasionally on that ridge, I'm willing to bet. And look at that, it, it turns and goes right into the freeway here. Well, isn't that fascinating? See, you learn something new all the time. And then this, this gives us kind of another unique look at, uh, at the hill here, doesn't it? So I'm dropping altitude just a little so that we stay uh, below that warning zone. Although I'm going to tell you, we were still legal there because uh, we were uh, ground level. We were, we were closer to ground level for sure. And so there you can see where we're at off in the distance over there. I'm picking the camera back up. Let's bring it back to us. 49% battery. No point in getting too carried away here. I'll drop the, uh, drop the camera down so that we can kind of see some of the stuff that's down here. Is that, what is that right there in the center? Is that, is that just a tree or what? Let's uh, zoom in on that. Yeah, it looks like a pile of rocks, doesn't it? Yeah, and a little bit of a draw itself. So probably water that did that. It's a cool thing about having a zoom is you can get in uh, close to things like that. And there off in the distance, you can see that cell phone tower that we rotated. And again, let's bring it back to us. Let's, but let's do it. We might as well do it kind of from the side here. And that is a truck. Uh, let's drop the camera down here. That is a, a, a runaway truck ramp right there. We're not going to go uh, any further that side of it, but yeah, kind of give you a close up look at that. And there we are. Still at 46% battery, but uh, you know, we're probably going to call this a flight right in it here because uh, no point in. Uh, I think we've seen what we can see. I'm going to give, I'm going to do one more look at the, uh, at the scenery here. Kind of do a little sweep around here so you can get a look at uh, Pendleton and what's down below there. I'm getting ready to head down that hill right now. So this is the second stop on my Corvette road trip where ultimately 
I'm going to be up on uh, Vancouver Island and hope to be flying some mini drones there because that's all I can legally fly in Canada but uh, I'm hoping to get up on uh, the Malahat Highway and find some cool spots to fly and uh, you know on my way I'm going to be going through Washington and definitely will be up on the Olympic Peninsula so we'll see what we can find with regard to uh, places to fly there too so let's just kind of bring this guy around and then uh, and maybe we'll do a well you know I probably didn't give it a good enough look at the landing pad so I was gonna try a uh, precision landing well you know what we might as well try it let's just see what it does right so I'm gonna hit return to home now and we're at 42 percent battery so this is the intelligent return to home so it's not it's only gonna go as high as it needs to go and it'll start dropping altitude as it comes back and I'll get my finger on the pause button if we need to and you can see me down there I'm dropping the gimbal as it's coming over the top of it us you know, and I, I, I'm so used to flying with the uh, Tahoe, and look at how fast it's coming down. Man, it is coming on down, folks. Now let's see if it'll move over. What do you think? I canceled. I'm not going to take a chance. Oop, that's too far. Well, I got heavy on the sticks. We're going to put that in cinema mode. You know, it, it wasn't moving, so I, uh, so I pulled the stick down further, and uh, yeah. So let's bring it on down here, and we'll see if we can get it on the, uh, right on the landing pad. Looks like we're right on, huh? Okay, so uh, as soon as I get it down here in front of me, I'm going to pick that camera up so you guys can see what's going on here. And let's drop this baby right down. A little bit further over. And down we come. Straight down landing mode. There we are on the pad. Yeah, you guys saw that on the, uh, on the GoPro. Uh, okay, uh, let me get everything uh, stand in front of the camera. Let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. So one of the things I did there, and I think it saves it anyway, but I uh, forgot to stop recording. So I'm gonna start a quick recording and then I'm gonna stop it again. And what that does for you is then it closes out that other file and you won't then have a corrupted file. So let me get it shut down. Hey, okay, I turned that camera around so that we're facing into the uh, sun here and get lit a little better. Uh, but, wow, what a pleasure to fly this drone, the DJI Mavic 3. It is the perfect drone for things like this. It has the power to get where you need to go and to get a good look around. And uh, like I said, I've always wanted to fly here. This is the viewpoint on Interstate 84 that overlooks Cabbage Hill. So uh, if you're ever coming through this direction, uh, you need to stop here uh, so, and, and check it out because it is a, a beautiful view. But that was just a fun flight, and we saw some things that I'd never seen before. And you got a good look over to the, towards the Wild Horse Casino and Pendleton itself and the mountain. So, again, second stop on my Corvette road trip. Uh, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. The DJI Mavic 3, really cool. See you guys later. Bye.